the focus. We will discuss Jaren Lanier's 10 arguments for deleting your social media accounts right now. So yeah, I really enjoyed this book. Jaren Lanier is, uh, I think he calls himself a computer scientist with dreadlocks. And it's interesting because he is an insider and also a cultural critic, a technologist, but also a humanist. Um, he is into art, but also science. So um, he is a broker of these different institutions or ideologies and I think he bridges the gap in a really neat and interesting way when you ask Jaron Lanier what he thinks we should do about social media he will tell you to be like a cat and that's one of the main binding themes of this book the research around cats is that they recognize when their name is called and if you say like hey potato come here it's the choice of whether or not they act on hearing what they recognize as their name. That's for the cat to decide. You should be more like a cat on your social media. You can recognize the pros and cons of what social media offers, and at the end of the day, make a choice about how you participate and if you participate. These are the 10 arguments. You're losing your free will. It's the best way to resist the insanity of our times. Social media is making you an asshole. Social media is undermining truth. Social media is destroying your capacity for empathy. Social media is making you unhappy. Social media doesn't want you to have economic dignity. Social media is making politics impossible. And finally, social media hates your soul. If that tells you anything about the kind of book that you are in for, it's that it offers a unique and strong opinion is it sometimes hyperbolic and sensational? Yes. And is it a little bit uh, sometimes a simplification of what social media is and has to offer? Yeah. Is it still worth reading and is it really fun and engaging? And uh, is it very convincing? Yes. Also yes. So he says, bummer is behaviors of users modified and made into an empire for rent. He then has parts of the bummer machine that are listed A through F, um, which it seems kind of forced. Um, A is for attention, B is for butting into everyone's lives, C is for cramming content down people's throats, D is for directing people's behaviors in the sneakiest way possible, E is for earning money, F is for fake mobs and faker society. I do think he has something to say about each of these, and he gives some important, relevant articles and references and research studies. Just two more things I'll say about the behavior of users modified and made into an empire for rent, the bummer machine, and that is these systems are adaptive. They are monitoring and mining our data, extracting our data, and using it in a way to gain profit, um, but it is doing that in a way that is adjusted constantly. And so we're, we're being tested all the time um, to see how we respond to different content, um, if we engage with it more, if we watch for longer. The level of precision is something that stood out to me. You can have a test that changes from day to day or hour to hour. Um, based on different segments of a population and the difference can be you know a fraction of one percent um, or the rank uh, by a difference of one in a list um, different content that you're served the level of calculation that these systems are undergoing to understand how we respond best um, it is I don't want to say creepy and scary, um, but it's creepy and scary. And I don't want to participate in a system that can so scientifically and meticulously understand me and my behaviors more than I understand my own 
you know, it's, it's up to me to reflect on my behaviors and improve my system um, the best I know how. If there's another system that can do that more effectively with better, bigger data sets, um, that might interfere with some of my own um, my own introspection and reflection and active choice and free will of how I choose to live and walk this earth. So the adaptive um, model uh, of what's happening in our social media um, that we're constantly being experimented and monitored and um, our, our data is used to change our behavior um, on this very precise and calculated basis. That's one major concern I have. Um, the other that I found very profound is the way the model uh, and these addiction cycles work, Jaren Lanier explains, is not just by positive reinforcement, um, but by negative uh, reinforcement as well. In a gambling scenario, when you pull the lever, you never know what's going to happen, so you're constantly guessing and you're emotionally invested in what the outcome is going to be and you're excited because it could be good, it could be bad. Um, you could lose money and get nothing or you could win a lot of money. And that kind of risk uh, is, is uh, exciting and it's withholding the outcome from you. Instagram runs on that very same principle of withheld rewards and um, int intermittent rewards. Intermittent rewards is what it's actually called. When you pull to refresh, Instagram will sometimes show you that you have new likes or comments um, and people are engaging with your content, but it will not show you um, the most current updates every time. Um, it's giving you some sometimes and some not other times. And those intermittent rewards, you know, in Instagram, when you're pulling to refresh, you're pulling the lever on the slot machine to see, are you going to get a hit? Are you gonna get a little bit of dopamine? Or, or will you not? And these two factors really stand out to me in this book, that these systems are very clever, sophisticated, and advanced, adaptive systems. And also the, uh, the behavior modification model that is built into the social media is rewarding and punishing. These two things alone uh, helped me be more like a cat on my social media. So I have posted recently, but um, you know I did it from my laptop and I don't have apps on my phone. All in all, this is a, a, a really good quick read to understand on a basic level what social media harms entail. Um, it does offer briefly a critical analysis of how race and gender politics work into social media, but it is mostly how all humans um, are harmed in these handful of ways, um, how we present ourselves, how we understand reality, um, how we participate in politics and the governance of a society, how we are kind or unkind, and how we live by free choice or in a predetermined way. Uh, it also affects us economically and what opportunities we have, and then also just how we're feeling if we feel happy or sad. So that's 10 arguments for deleting your social media accounts right now. Published in 2018, later next week I will do a review of you Are Not a Gadget by Jaron Lanier. Uh, this was published in 2010, so we'll get an idea of what he was thinking um, eight years before uh, 10 arguments. Um, thanks so much, and see you later.